During step four, we are going to suggest that you compare ARC County and PLC for each of your program crops, waiting for the ARC IC comparison till step five. The reason for doing this, along with a description of each one of your programs, is given in this video. You will be choosing between three programs. Price loss coverage, PLC, is a target price, or what is now called a reference price program. Whenever the market year average price for a year falls below a reference price, PLC will make payments. SCO, Supplemental Coverage Option, is a crop insurance product that will be available if you choose PLC. SCO is further described in Step 6. ARC County is Agricultural Risk Coverage and it's a county level revenue program. It will make pay payments when county revenue falls below a county guarantee. Our county and PLC can be ma ma made available for each program crop on a farm. If you have two program crops on an FSA farm, one of them could use PLC and the other could use our county. Our IC or our individual is a farm level revenue program. It will make payments when farm level falls below a farm guarantee. All crops are gathered together when guarantee calculations are made for ARC IC. In addition, all farms that are enrolled in ARC IC come together in the guarantee calculation. We expect ARC IC to be not used by many farms and we'll explain so why later. Again, ARC County and PLC can be made can be made for each program crop, ARC IC has to be applied to each farm. I am now going to give three examples of different possibilities for choosing ARC County, PLC, and ARC IC for an individual farm. I'm going to do this for two farms and two crops, corn and soybeans. In example one, which you see now on the screen, farm one, farm two, Corn in both Farm 1 and Farm 2 are in Arc County, and soybeans is enrolled in PLC on both Farm 1 and Farm 2. This is one alternative. Example 2 is a bit different than Example 1. In Example 2, Farm 1, both corn and soybeans are enrolled in Arc County, and on Farm 2, corn is enrolled in Arc County, while soybeans are enrolled in PLC. You could switch a Farm 2 and have PLC or corn used on PLC and Art County used on soybeans. In any case, there's a variety of different ways you can combine Art County and PLC. Here in Example 3, Farm 1, both corn and soybeans are enrolled in Art County. On Farm 2, Arc IC is used. Once a decision is made to use ARC IC, all crops on that FSA farm are enrolled in ARC individual. Other points about the program choice, payments are made on base acres for PLC in ARC County. It doesn't matter what you plant in 2014 through 2018, it matters what those base acres were. The base acres were determined by your base acre decision. You either kept the current acres or reallocated those base acres. Plantings do matter in their ARC IC, but payments will not go over or below total base acres. And again, farmers can make different decisions on each FSA farm. In this step four, we're going to focus on ARC County and PLC. There's two reasons why. First, we think you should make it the best choice for each crop and then once you made that best choice compare it to ARC IC. If you don't make the best choice for each crop then you would have more choices to compare to ARC IC. So the second reason is we believe that there will be fewer farmers taking ARC IC than ARC County and PLC so we want to focus first on those ARC County and PLC decisions.